Hey guys, Natalia Schneimler here. I help boy moms have a better relationship with their sons and themselves by teaching them the tools how to manage their mind so that when anything comes up in life, they know exactly how to take care of themselves and their kids. Hey guys, how's it going? A little something to make you feel better and not so terrible if you're hurt. I uh, have my back is super, super stiff and in pain from playing too much tennis and I'm 40 so I'm not like super old but if you are in a similar situation you can have a laugh together with me and I'm stretching it like crazy and it's still super stiff and I don't know what to do about it but I'm still playing so it's uh, I'm trying to make light of it and stretch it out so we'll see what happens so I wanted to share this example and I, I love it because it's so ridiculous and it's I was such a mom, such a typical, stereotypical, controlling mom in this example that I didn't even see it until it was kind of over. So I wanted to share with you and basically tell you that trying to avoid other people being upset is exhausting and does not work. Okay, so this is an example with my kids, but it really works, applies to any people. If you're trying to avoid another grown-up being upset, you're going to fail and it's going to be exhausting. So I recommend simply practicing being comfortable with other people being upset, which is hard. It's really hard. So, but that's the goal. So it was with my twins taking swimming lessons and it all started out with them uh, sometimes sitting on the side when the, the lesson was going on and, and being cold and then afterwards complaining that they were cold and, you know, I would explain to them, right, if you move, you'll warm up. So sitting on the side doesn't really help you and they still would sit on the side and then we were trying to figure out why is the instructor letting them sit so much? And we thought, okay, maybe because they're twins and they're together, they're kind of influencing each other and, you know, they're allowing themselves to not participate as much. And so, you know, that went on for a while and I tried to find, try to remember the instructors that I liked uh, just to make it easier for, like in that point, I was justifying everything by saying, you know what? If they like it, then they would do it. And, you know, I'm just trying to make it easier for myself. And, I, you know, if they don't like the lessons, I need to find a solution for it. And that's where I went wrong. I did not need to find a solution for them having a negative emotion about swimming. In fact, with my first two boys, that was never even a discussion they didn't like them too bad so sad <laughs> it's a life skill you need to learn how to swim I don't have control over your coaches go on go and there was never a struggle this is what they had to do they did it there was not even any much whining but for some reason I don't know how I got into this controlling mindset I kept trying to find them the perfect coach instructor that they both love and they would want to go to the swimming lessons I even took them out of the swimming lessons and put them into the swim club and I even told them oh my gosh you guys are such good swimmers and you got invited to this awesome swim club and because you got invited, it's so great, it's so special, blah, blah, blah. Like I went through all these hoops and loops trying to avoid them being upset, not liking the lessons. And I finally figured out the perfect recipe. I found this club. They loved the coaches there. I loved it. I watched them. I was so happy. I'm like, they're learning all these skills. There's more of a spirit there. You know, they're cheering them on. It's way better than lessons. I was so happy. I'm like, I nailed it. This is, you know, good job me. You know what? We come to lessons next time. Different coaches. The coaches that they love are gone. I was so caught off guard. I was so surprised. I did not see it coming. And the twins were not happy. So we go for a couple times and I am devastated. I All my hard work is down the drain. The coaches that I thought I found are gone. I don't know where they went. And now these other coaches are there that basically are doing the same things that they do in lessons, which the twins hate. So I'm devastated. I start again at my last 
breath, I start, I cancel the swim club, I get them into some other lessons and some other things. And I think that was the last straw where I realized me trying to outrun my twins feeling bad about the lessons is exhausting and didn't even work. It, I cannot control what, who the coaches are. And I remembered I did not do this with my old kids. Why am I trying to do this? This is pointless. The best course of action here is to accept that sometimes the other people will have negative emotions. Sometimes they will be upset. And what else am I teaching my kids is that it's never okay to be upset. We should always try to be happy. No, half of our life is negative emotion. It is totally fine. So that was, it was such a funny place to find myself in, to be the controlling mother who's trying to fix the world around my kids so that my kids are always happy. That just doesn't work. It's exhausting. So um, once I kind of got out of that blind, you know, mom thinking, I just decided, you know what, this is, we're going to, you know, this is not going to be our priority to make you feel good. No, just like with brushing teeth, you don't have to like it, but you're going to brush it. If you don't like your coach, that's fine. We're not here for that. And then it became clear, right, to in other sports for my twins, I don't know why, maybe because they're my babies, um, they started going to gymnastics and the coach there was amazing. I like I like him a lot. He's, he seems really good, caring, interactive, and he, twins love them. But a couple times he wasn't there, and now we actually found out that he's leaving. I all same thing. At the same time, I felt really threatened. Oh no, they're going to hate gymnastics because they don't like the coach. And you know what? You need need to embrace it. That that's totally fine. We're, and the skill that we can uh, all learn, me, myself, and the twins, is that we should not rely on the other person to like something, right? If we like gymnastics enough to do it with a, a any coach, then that's the goal, right? We should not be relying and align all these people around us, all these criteria, all these things, to accommodate us liking something. It's it's just trying to m- control, manipulate the world around us. That does not work. It's exhausting. So now I am kind of more aware of my desire to please them, my desire to protect them, and I'm tougher. I'm just more willing for them to be upset. And it's totally part of life, right? So I I, I really feel for you if you're that mom because we get wrapped up in, in it. We, it, When you're in it, you don't know you're in it until after, until you realize, oh, I was trying to manipulate something that's really hard to manipulate. Yes, I fixed it for a short bit, but then it changed again. So you really need to, we need to ask ourselves, what are we trying to teach our kids and what are we demonstrating ourselves? So I think it was a really funny, ridiculous example of how controlling I was. And I wanted to share that with you to cheer you up so that you also can be laughing at yourself when you're doing the same. And also stop it, right? When the kids don't like their teachers, that's what happens. Too bad, so sad, move on, right? You're always going to have people in your life that you don't like, right? It doesn't mean you need to be constantly manipulating people around you. No, just come back to you, manage you. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this crazy mom example. I love you. And please get coached. Get coached so you can address all the craziness in your head and not feel so crazy. Love you. Go to my website, www.coachingnatalia.com. Go to sign up for a free mini session and I'll see you soon. Love you. Bye.